Hello all. This is a first movie for programming in PHP language. A actually, it's not the first movie. I am putting things on and off again. I want to get acquainted with PHP framework TronGate. It's a new upcoming framework or has came up already, which makes it possible to write quickly software using PHP language. This is the website of it. Have some information you can get by yourself afterwards. And uh, the, in the introduction, the subject is to write a management thing for managing customers who have attended courses in a tool house. This thing on here consists of uh, two things. The framework itself in form of PHP source code and a tool which helps you to get started. You will find it under the download section. You can download it for your specific operating system. I have done it already. I will start this tool. It says make sure you have PHP and up, up and running, which means on your PC should be in PHP being installed. And the other thing is that in your database management system, you should know about a user who has a um, global privilex who is allowed to create databases and tables. Afterwards, when you go online with your application, you would maybe change to another user with less rights. Yeah. So for security reasons. Yeah. Okay. Viva la revolution. The theme of this thing is <laughs> has been inspired by the Commodore 64. We will create a new app or application your program is called app, right? So we will name it Toolhouse. It asks us where it should be retrievable. In this white section, simply click into it and adopt the user credentials to the user of a database management system. It asks us where to store it. This is the document root of your web server. It's on my site, on here, on my computer, this folder. And we will create in here. A new subfolder will be created automatically. Now it's downloading from GitHub the needed files of the framework and setting up the database. Let's have a look what happened when in the database. If you reload this thing, on here is a small filter repair tool or other databases are not shown. When you reload this thing, uh, and we see it's not yet there, but maybe it will create it if we create a module. This is weird. Or this tool is cheating. One sec. I think this tool is cheating. Hmm. 
it was cheating. There is a tool house on there. You will put a filter in again. Now this is the database. But there are not tables in it yet. This will be completed when we create a first new module. We could browse a module market, we are ready to go, modules are offered for specific types of needs, but we will do an own one. And we will name a table attendee. Or is it like this? I don't know. At attendees. It asks us to use singular, so we will remove this S on here. You can put a navigation label on, okay. An icon, no. Let's some, add some properties. These are the fields of this table. We want to have actually a first name. We want to have a last name. You see how fast this is. And we can complete this one here by a ready to go set of fields, which represents typically an address. On here. I love this. I don't know what this is, but we will tick to search something is all Always good. The URL column is something for a specific function, I think, within the framework, but uh, we will not use it now, as I don't know 100% what's about. We will sort the table if we query for the contents by the la last name as ending and we will create this module. And now we can view this module. So we have here our local host. This is the subdirectory which has been created. I don't, I am I had a small test on there a few minutes ago and was not happy about how it worked out. And on here, somewhere, here's the, the directory tool house. This is the downloaded framework and it put in the modules folder beside the framework specific modules, it's a modular based thing, a module which represents this database table we have created. And within the module attendees, there is one method manage. This is this crude thing to insert, update and delete things. This is already done. And there is a show method. And then there are some private one, a reduce rows and a submit function as it has created an input form. And so we have here attendees manage. So we could add a first attendee doggy dog this is my reference user in main street 33 there are some optional lines, okay. 
I'm located in Germany, so I will put Baden Württemberg. Uh, postcode C in Germany. You will submit it. We now go to on here. Our first entry. And you see that it has changed attendees. Show. This is the thing we see here. Show. Show. It's taking the third segment to retrieve the ID. This is the first, this is the second, this is the third segment. So it's looking for this in the database. And if we check in the database what happened on there, when you reload this here, then we see on here that in the table attendance with the structure, this data has been inserted. That's good. The start page of the framework looks like this. And if you look, I use attendee. Show. Oh, one second, but I'm doing wrong. Ah, it's on here is then plural. Okay. Yeah. So it's in on here. In the next part, we will have a look into the. No, why not now? So. Let's head to Tongate.io and there is a, a documentation section and tutorials. It's 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 everything very nicely laid out. It lays out like a carpet in here. There is our welcome section, some basic concepts about the architecture of the applications it is ad addressing and taking use of our controller, our work, the structure of a con controller. It's everything explained on, on here. We need to remember. The controller file name starts with a capital letter and always start the controller class name with a capital letter. Always give your main controller class the same name as the module where it resides. Yeah. So, these recordings will be a kind of how I progress in acquainting with the PHP framework. Rongate I own. I will pause and it will come back. Thank you.